My favorite earbuds died a couple months ago and I don't make them anymore. Can the Jabra Elite 7 Active fill the void? Let's put in these earbuds and take them for a run. Everything I say, you should print it on a t-shirt. Everything I do, you can read it on Twitter. Huh. What's a girl gotta do, huh? What's a girl gotta do? I'm dripping in food, check out my lemon soup. I'm a double butt cute, I'm witty like you. I'm visibly cool, but vanilla and fruits. I like it, freaking smooth. You like, you like me, freaking. All of my friends, they were lady as hell. Run it, let's go. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kofuzi and I am a dude who runs a lot. And today I'm gonna be taking a look at the Jabra Elite 7 Active. Now these are earbuds that I'm hoping will replace my previous favorite earbuds of all time, the Jabra Elite 85T. Now they don't make that set of earbuds anymore. And they used to make like a series of earbuds like the 65T, then the 75T, then the 85T. I've tried all of those. I loved all of them. And now they're going to like a new numbering system. There's like a seven and a five. Today I'm looking at the seven active and hopefully that this kind of new top of the line Jabra will remain my favorite running earbud. But first, let me go over some disclosures. Uh, this is a pair of earbuds that I bought myself. No one sent them to me. No one's paying me to make this video. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Jabra Elite 7 Active for runners. Now, let's go over some specs. This is a $180 pair of earbuds and they are active noise canceling, which means that they have microphones built into the earbuds that can kind of like take the ambient noise around you and kind of cancel it out. But what they also can do and what I really love about earbuds for running is that they usually have like a hear throw mode as well. And with the hear through mode, what you can do is you can, instead of blocking noise out, you can actually let ambient noise in, which should in theory help you be a little bit safer when you're out there on the road so you can hear if there's other runners coming around you if there's cars traffic other things that you might want to be aware of and that that is a feature that is available on these earbuds as well now they fit into your ears using what Jabra calls shake grip secure fit and there's liquid silicone rubber that are in these earbuds and then you can use them to put them into your earbuds and they're not supposed to move around even though these earbuds don't have any sort of thin loop anything to keep them from falling out and now these are an active set of earbuds so how are they going to stay in there that's where i guess the liquid silicone rubber comes into play now in terms of fit, these definitely fit very snugly in the ear and that's going to help not only with making sure they don't fall out while you're out there on the run or getting in your workout for the day, but it also makes sure that the noise canceling works even better and also should in theory help the sound quality as well. Uh, in terms of moisture and dirt protection, these are IP57 rated. So that is a number that I like to see because that means that these can be submerged underwater for 30 minutes before any water gets into the earbud. Now, I'm not gonna be spending 30 minutes underwater with these earbuds, but the reason why that's still important to me is because the reason why earbuds die typically is because sweat gets into the earbuds, it seeps into it. And if it's not sufficiently kind of like water sealed, uh, that sweat is gonna get inside the earbuds, get into the components, dry up and leave like a salty residue and accelerate the deterioration of the earbud. So IP57 is a number that makes me happy. Now in terms of charging these, there's a very lightweight case that is a USB-C charging and also Qi charging enabled as well. Another feature that I really like to see for earbuds, because it just makes it easy. You take the earbuds off, you set it down on your charging mat, then the next time you go to use them, they're gonna be fully topped up, both the earbuds themselves as well as the case. Now in terms of that battery capability, these are are supposed to give you eight hours of listening time on a single charge, which is fantastic for those of us who are running marathons. That means we can wear these earbuds to our event as we're getting ready, as we're warming up in the corrals. And if you're gonna still run with them throughout your marathon, you're gonna have plenty of charge to carry you through the race. If you do need longer than that, maybe some of the ultra marathoners that are out there, this case will give you up to 30 total hours of charge as well. So you got plenty of juice for even some of the, I mean, I guess some of you guys are running like super, super long races and 30 hours might not be enough for you. But for 
outside of you monsters out there, uh, for most of us normal endurance athletes, I guess, uh, the 30 hours is going to be plenty of time. And if you do run out, five minutes of charging is going to give you an hour of listening time as well. So they do have a quick charge feature as well, which I also think is just a really fantastic thing to be able to have. Now, and the last thing I want to talk about is the buttons. Now, they do have buttons on each side, and each side button does different things. On the left-hand side, you're going to be toggling the noise cancellation and calling up the uh, voice assistant, whether you're on Android or iOS. And on the right-hand side, you're going to be dealing with play, pause, fast forward, and re. Wine. The buttons are a little bit clicky, so you got to push them a little bit, but they do have a nice click to them. So you know when you've made the correct number of double taps or triple taps, uh, depending on whatever command you're trying to give to these earbuds. All right. So now with all those specs out of the way, let's talk about what it was like to kind of live and run with these earbuds. Now, the first thing that I'll say just right off the bat is I don't think these are a replacement to the Jabra Elite 85T. I'm actually thinking that I might try to go and buy another pair of the Jabra Elite 85T because I just do think that even though they are more expensive, they're just a far superior earbud. And here's some of the reasons why. The main thing is the noise canceling. Now, the noise canceling is very good, but the flip side of the noise canceling is the hear through. Now, the hear through, I feel like just doesn't really work quite as well on the 7 Active as it did on the 85T. I felt like that one gave me a really good balance of outside noise plus whatever I was trying to listen to, and none of it felt very like distracting. It all felt rather natural. Here though, I feel like the noise canceling is so good in the Dropper Elite 7 Active because it's really plugged into your ear. That liquid silicone rubber really kind of like molds in your and it really plugs the canal in a way that I find kind of like not that great. If you're trying to eliminate the world around you, works fantastic, but it makes it so that way the hear through has to work that much harder. And even though there is an app that you can use to tweak your hear through settings as well as your EQ settings, I just felt like the hear through was never quite good enough or not what I remember the Jabra Elite 85T to be. And so a lot of times, even when I was out there running and had the hear through mode on, I had a hard time hearing kind of some of the things that were going on around me. Like even on one day, I ran into someone else who recognized me from a YouTube channel and he was trying to say something to me, but I couldn't understand what he was saying and I ended up having to take the earbuds out to be able to have a, a little bit of a conversation with him out there on the run because I just don't think that the hear through mode is working well enough. I feel like it's too kind of isolating even when the hear through mode is on. And then when the hear through mode is on, I feel like I'm getting a lot of like road noise, wind noise, like ambient noise that I don't care about. And then the ambient noise that I do care about, like other people's footsteps, bicycles, that kind of thing. I'm still having a really hard time hearing and figuring out where it's coming from. So I, I just feel like the hear through mode leaves a lot to be desired. And I think that's kind of ultimately like for me, why I'm having a little bit of a hard time recommending these earbuds for runners. Now let's talk about the music quality. Now, if you're listening to kind of podcasts or spoken word, I think these are absolutely fantastic, especially if you're running with them in and noise canceling on, like if it's a windy day, you're really going to feel like that vocal audio is coming through really crisply and you're going to get a great sense of that voice. Music is also pretty good. I really enjoy the sound. Jabber has always done such a fantastic job in terms of music audio quality. And I love the fact that in the app, I can tweak it so that I just pump up the bass a little bit more because I have terrible taste in soundstage. But in terms of what I'm hearing in the highs, mids, and lows at both loud volume and low volume, I feel like this is doing an above average job for other earbuds that would be in this price range. The thing that I do think that these are doing fantastic job of doing is staying in. That liquid silicone rubber that's in here that makes it hard to hear the world around you also make it so that these earbuds stay in like they're glued into your ear canal. I've done workouts in this. I've taken it on the bike. I've taken it on a bunch of different kinds of runs and I've never had any like tiny bit of concern that these were going to fall out. They always just stay right in there and they're pretty comfortable in the ear even for longer periods of time. Now, since my Jabra Elite 85T died a couple months ago, I've been running mostly in the Beats Fit 
Pro. Now, I feel like the audio quality is pretty comparable between that set of earbuds and the Jabra Elite 7 Active, uh, but I do think that the Beats Pro is doing, or at least providing uh, a hear-through experience that is a little bit better than what I'm getting on the 7 Active. And I don't know that their technology is necessarily better. I just think because the Beats Fit Pro don't fit quite so snugly and fill the ear canal as much, I feel like I'm still able to kind of hear what's going on around me better. But even though those earbuds have those little hooks that kind of stick into the like cartilage of your ear, those earbuds sometimes will just jump out of my ear. Two times that really stand out to me in very recent memory is once um, I was just on an airplane sitting watching a movie on my phone and uh the ear right earbud just i didn't i don't think i even moved the right earbud just kind of like popped out and it rolled like hit my leg and it rolled underneath the seat in front of me and i just let it go i was like that's gone i'm never finding that uh two hours later everyone's getting up off the plane and someone's like did someone lose an earbud i was like oh that's my ear but i totally thought i had lost it i already like in my mind said it's gone forever and thank you so much for finding it for me and then fast forward like a couple days later i was in the corrals at a race and i was like getting ready to start and I looked down and then all of a sudden my earbud, same one on the right hand side, jumped out of my ear again. I didn't, I wasn't like sweating, I wasn't moving quickly, I was just kind of like looking down at my shoes and the earbud came out and it's a busy corral at the LA Marathon and everyone's around me and I'm like trying to find like where did that earbud go and I'm hunting for an earbud. So that's a problem that I've just been having with the Beats Fit Pro. I don't have that problem with the Jabra Elite 7 Active that fits really, really well. So overall, I'm not sure that at $180, this is necessarily the set of earbuds to get. They still sell. I don't think they're making new ones, but I still think that there's inventory out there of the Dropper Elite 85T. And because it's been out for a while, you can usually find it at the same price as the Beats Fit Pro. So if you don't mind having like kind of last year's earbuds, that's probably the best option. So those are my thoughts on the Jabra Elite 7 Active. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or better yet, stop by the live stream they do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'll post a link to that live stream channel in the description down below. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?